Hey you guys, my name is Carly Wood and I am the founder of Team Be Misfit and I am here to talk to you guys about one of the most important topics as you get started on your coaching journey and that is your why. Uh, why do you want this? What is driving you to create a business out of coaching? What is driving you to do some things that are might be scary in the beginning. What is going to drive you when times get tough? What is going to drive you when you feel lack of motivation? What's going to drive you when no one's there telling you what to do? The biggest blessing about coaching is we don't have a boss telling us what to do. And sometimes some of us need that accountability and uh, someone there to tell us what to do. So with coaching, uh, you're going to be your own motivation as well as this team, as well as your upline, um, maybe your family, people around you. But at the end of the day, ultimately, it's going to be up to you to develop that consistent um, behavior pattern, those habits, and to really get out of your comfort zone. That was a huge one for me. I sat behind this computer for two months and did not get out of my comfort zone, um, partly because I needed to develop a strong why. So why do you want this? We are all driven by helping people. You would not be a coach if you didn't want to help people or at least help yourself uh, get into better shape. So it's got to be deeper than that. You have to dig a little deeper. And sometimes we have pull wise and sometimes we have push wise. When I first started, my why was I did not want to work for corporate America. I did not want to be told what to do. And I joke around. I work for Cisco. I did not want to sell chicken tenders and french fries anymore. And I was going to do anything in my power to make that happen. I loved helping people. I loved the way I felt with uh, T25 and I used that as my motivation to help others do the same. And what was driving me was that will to never go back to that situation that I was in before. You can also have a pull why. Maybe you are um, a mom who stays at home and you don't have a job or something that's pushing you out of a certain situation and you want to create something for your child or you want to create vacations or you want to uh, give to charities, something that's going to pull you in, that's going to draw you in, something that you want to... Um, go after and it's a pull why so it's not necessarily pushing you like whoa I got to get there it's pulling you because it's something you want to create okay maybe it's um, a dream home maybe it's a second home maybe it's putting your kids through college maybe it's proving to yourself that you can start a business from home and that you're not a quitter and that you can do this whatever resonates with your soul whatever is going to keep you moving forward in this business is something that you guys have to cultivate and create Okay, maybe brainstorm some key words that you want to cultivate in your life. Um, write some goals down that you have. Start to brainstorm this and think about it. And one other thing, you guys, I want to tell you is your why can change. Okay, that's the beauty of this. It doesn't have to stay the same. Uh, it can change. Like I said, I had a push why, something that was pushing me, and now I have pull why's. Um, so the catalyst of our business and of our team is to help people, is to pay this forward, is to look at this opportunity as a gift. It is such a gift. It's been the biggest blessing in my life, in my husband's life, in my family's life. And it's such a gift to be able to give this. So that is like motivation. That's what drives our train. And why is this going to be so important to you guys? Okay. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you have questions on this topic, we are all here to help. And I cannot wait to uh, get started on this journey with you guys. All right. See ya.